eight tango extractors installed here in Colorado. Remote touch screens. This is the new Tango series extractor. It's got a lot of upgrades on it. Uh, each extractor has a four kilowatt negative 60 degrees Celsius chiller. Uh, these are 50 pound extraction tubes with remote pneumatic solenoid valves. So you can open and close the tube racks here. Um, they are isolated from the top and from the bottom of the extraction tube. There's the thermometer proven here so you can actually measure the temperature of each extractor. You can see that right here. And then the chillers manifold off with insulated hose. The extraction tubes themselves have a three inch layer of polyurethane and a jacket for cooling with polydimethylsiloxane. Um, we have cryogenic quick disconnects. And if you notice here, uh, see here they are uh, flat faced so you don't get any uh, loss of liquid. You can take them off. Um, the compressor is a T291 compressor. It recovers very fast. And we have an after cooler here that chills the gas prior to going into the gas tank. Um, this here is a float level sensor, so we can measure how much butane is in the tank um, at all times. We also have an explosion proof R1 scale down here that actually reads weight, and it is on uh, feet that pull itself up off of the ground. You see the wheels are not on the ground, and uh, you can release that, but it will come back down again. Everything is easily removable with So at the end of the run, the gas tank will fill automatically through the compressor. These uh, open and close to let uh, gas come in from a manifold that's located on the wall. So at the end of the run, the tank will automatically refill. A very large collection pots for collecting oil. It's got a tube and shell heat exchanger here uh, to recover gas quicker. Molecular sieve sock. This is a pressure transducer here. That's where we measure pressure. And this is where we recover the gas here. The three quarter inch Detroit Flex defense hose with uh, SAE um, 37 degree flare fittings. Uh, these tanks are ASME rated. They're made in the United States. This is made at a company called Tolan in New Jersey. Um, so these are stamped, as well as the extraction tubes and the collection pots. Uh, this particular install, he has extra racks so that he can swap them out very quickly. And you can notice there's actually one, two, three, four. And uh, outside of the room here is where the control panels are located. And you can see this is the touch screen to where you can control everything. And we're in Colorado right now, so you can notice the pressure is a little lower. We're at high elevation, but we're monitoring the extraction tube temperatures. And uh, you can see here the gas tank uh, fill level. Um, if you want to adjust a parameter, you just simply touch the screen and you can change the settings that you want. The extraction tubes, the vacuum pump, and then you can make a recipe if you like and uh, once you've set all your parameters in there you can save it or load it 
Um, everything does have uh, gas sensors, so there's multiple in the room. Um, you can see there's a sensor here. Uh, we haven't installed the sensors yet, but there's actually a sensor at the output of the vacuum pump to make sure you're not pulling any gases through the pump. And then there's also one in the room, and they're all integrated into the PLC for safety purposes. Uh, this guy here is a large gantry. It's pneumatically operated. You roll your rotary rack over here or your extraction rack, and you hook it up with one of these guys here. Uh, directly into the extraction rack there and you can pull your socks out so uh, this lid is actually pneumatically operated you can see here you push a button and the lid opens up um, I don't know if you can see down in here or not but there's actually a spray nozzle and that sprays the uh, biomass in the sock and this guy here pulls the extraction sock out of the extraction tube uh, the gas tanks themselves hold 150 pounds of propane or butane. Um, so, and as the extraction fluid flows through the tube and shell, it, uh, it goes through this manifold here. And you can control the flow of the tube and shell. It helps evaporate the gas quicker. It does have two sight glasses, one for flashlight, one for viewing. And then down here we have a low dead volume oil collection where you can either spray the oil out or you can actually pump your alcohol into your winterization directly in the extraction pot. We designed them that way. This is a heating block. It's hooked up in the heating circuit and it allows to heat this base plate. The vessel itself is jacketed as well to recover the gas and prevent icing. Take you around to the other side where the actual PLC normally is located. This particular customer wanted a remote touch screen on the other side of the room. Uh, we have a roof mounted water cooled chiller that actually cools our main chillers, the negative 60 degree chillers that are located in the PLC room. So it's not an air-cooled system. It doesn't dump heat into your room. And the chillers would be located here. We've got two Delta T heater systems for the heating circuits of each extractor, a high vacuum pump to reach low pressures, and an oilless compressor. It's five horsepower uh, for purging the system and also activating any valves. This is the other side of the rock stack. You can see that all of the hoses are neatly run through this gantry here so to clean it up make it look nice and this is where the normal plc would be located with the touch screen and you have the option to have a touch screen in both places uh, vfds control the pumps so the compressors the recovery pumps can actually be controlled they can be from zero to 100 percent so you don't always have to run them at full capacity um, there's two control panels in each room and then you can see here into the extraction room one of the nice features that we put into the system is that you can actually purge the butane and propane from the extraction tubes after a run you can build up pressure and vent them out of the room and that is a pulse purge sequence that we've built into the computer program so you don't run the potential of off gassing so this is the next room you can see PLC panels open there. And the main chiller would be located in this room too. It will arrive shortly.